Okay, we're just going to assemble the second component. So this is the other uh, side of the shelf we just installed. So again, we're going to take the angle. We're going to have that angle. Let's see, we're going to have this angle facing out. So I'm going to basically just moving this piece forward, kind of like that. So and then I chose number three. Let's work with the positions of my shelf. And again, that's just basically the first and second um, with the screws all the way pulled to the back. Right. Let's put this in real quick. This one doesn't want to be short. It doesn't want to be too big. Yeah, these are the M5, so I'm not really sure what's going on. You're giving me some trouble. Okay, so I have the bottom of this back piece installed on the third dot, or in, in the process of being installed. So, and we have it facing out, similar to how the, uh, this L shape works. So it's super loose and something's going on there. I have to fix that, I don't know what's happening. The screws aren't fitting um, with a bolt for some reason, so I have to go see what the pairing is. Um, stand by. Um, I just want to show everybody what the problem was, or what I see to be the problem. Uh, we, I was using the 1032, uh, this one right here, for, and it wasn't working on the screw. Um, when I'm, it's an M5 screw, and this is an M5 bolt, so the M5 is the one that ends up working, <laughs> but I mean, if you look there, you know, see, you gotta, you gotta get a better. They're pretty close, so um, it's hard to tell if there's a difference, but there is. So that's the solution, and let's put the rest of this thing in. Okay, we're finishing installing the second half of our nap point uh, shelf, and so we're just blocking in and getting past our little problem of using the correct um, screw screw bolts or the screws itself. I was using M5 nuts. Uh, I wasn't using M5 nuts and so that was the problem. So we're using the correct stuff now. That worked, which was great. So then we'll come through here, take our shelf, and we'll do one, three, one, two, three. So then after three, you put it in the fourth hole down. There we go. So I'm gonna do, actually. Just get one right here. Two, three, okay, perfect. So that's just kind of two dead screws. I have to screw everything in. But uh, again, I'll be using the screws. Just do this real quick. And then these are the M6s. So, okay. Probably seen enough screws to left to left, don't they? Okay. Um, so, I actually doesn't have a screw. They're a little cat, so we'll just put that on. So it is important how tight and the angles of your shelf and stuff, because it actually does take up. Um, it is important to get it right, or else some of your equipment won't fit. 
Um, yeah, so there we go. That's just the start of it. It's super loose. Um, so you can't leave it, leave it like that. I'm gonna have to tighten it up uh, a bunch. But, uh, and I guess I can do that if you guys are, if you guys are watching. Something to look at. Something to look in there. That's actually not much better. Okay, that's not the right way to do it. My back hurts. <laughs> okay. Well, it's blocked in. I'm going to do the front now. And then we'll be done with the rails. Okay. So we are at the tail end of getting our shelves put in correctly. They're still all very loose. This one isn't even connected, so we're going to do that one now. And couple pieces. Alright. So screws again. Not correct one, hopefully. Yep, M6. Perfect. And we're Again, the fourth one down is us. Take that out. Put these two in. Let's get a get my teeny little hands back right there. Have to look at that so I'm going to tighten these up so now we have again tighten everything up like grab a pair of pliers maybe I'll just yeah, I'll show you Actually, I gotta stop for a second because my screwdriver is my player. So, puts me in a pickle. I need a screwdriver. One second. 